Hey Wolfpack fans, Katie Ryan sitting in once again with Nevada head soccer coach Dr. Melissa Price following a split weekend of Mountain West play. Coach, you guys pulled out a 2-1 victory against San Jose State Friday night. Dropped a heartbreaker to Fresno State on Sunday, 3-2 in double overtime. Let's start with the win. How important was it for your team to be able to come out that day and get a win in the column uh, for conference play? Well, I think, you know, we, we started off conference play with um, going 0-2 on the road and um, to come home and, you know, be able to play in front of our fans and um, just kind of, you know, not so much talking about we need to win, we need to win, but more so let's play our game, let's play, um, you know, our style of soccer, let's try to do some of the things we've been working on to do well in order to be successful, and let's play well as a team and focus on those things and let let the outcome take care of itself a little bit more. And, and I thought we did a really good job with that on Friday um, and sort of fending off um, a second half, um, you know, flurry of attack from San Jose and uh, be able to come out of there with the win and uh, get us some points in conference, I think was huge. It's incredibly important. Um, that's kind of one of the goals of every game is you want to try to get points every game that you play. Um, and every team's trying to do that, so we're all going to put it on the line. Now Sunday, you had a couple of, uh, we can call them some rare scoring from a couple of your players. Madison Lorenzen, a senior, scored her second career goal. And then you got one from Lindsay Salcedo, was her first career goal. So what's it like to get scoring from people who it's maybe not expected from week to week? I think it's great. Um, Madison uh, is a pretty technical player and she's one of the players that helps us out on a lot of our free kick opportunities and um, I think it's a matter of time uh, before she was able to kind of convert on one of them whether it's uh, helping you know with an assist on a corner kick or even with the goal uh, on the set piece so uh, she showed some great composure and um, you know we ran the set piece play and uh, we didn't score on it the week before, and we got one this week, so um, we're really happy about that. And then Lindsay's a good player in the air. She's a good battler, and uh, I think sometimes she's right in there in the mix when things come down in the box, and uh, she hasn't been able to get on the end of anything. Uh, <laughs> but she did now, and uh, so hopefully that'll give her some more confidence, too, to continue to uh, be dangerous in those areas and, and see herself as someone who can score goals for us. Now flip-flopping out of that, uh, Angel Merriweather, it's her first collegiate season. She keeps seeming to uh, just continue to pound away on offense. Um, she's got, she had four points this past weekend. She's had a hand in five of your last six goals. So what has she meant to your offense up front? You know, Angel, she's got one of those, she's got a good feel for the game. She's that kind of player. And so uh, I think it really helps her make the right choice, for example, whether to pass for the assist or, or shoot herself, which you saw her do this weekend. And um, knowing when the opportunity is right for her to take a, a chance on goal versus give it away to someone else, or just she's accurate as a passer, she's good 1v1, she has sort of that fierce mentality um, of being confident. I think goal scorers need that. Um, so she's, she's kind of all around a good player for us in that way, and she's been tremendous um, on the attacking side of the ball. And so I think, um, you know, for her, you let her play with that feel for the game a little bit and give her that freedom um, to make those choices. Uh, she's the type of player that'll make the players around her better too. Um, and you, I mean, we were able to see that with the, her connecting with the assist um, on Friday. So I think that's, you know, when you look at it all together, she's definitely a threat, definitely um, a good player in the attack and um, does her role well defensively. And, and she's been a, a good asset for us as a freshman. Now looking ahead to this weekend, it's another home weekend for you guys. Uh, the Mountain West top team, San Diego State, comes into town Friday night for your pink game for breast cancer awareness. And then New Mexico comes into town on Sunday. What does your team have to do to be able to keep those teams in line and be able to come out of the weekend with a couple of W's? Um, I, well, I think first of all, you know, last year we had some uh, good results, I think, against both San Diego State and New Mexico. You know, they weren't wins, but um, we scored a great goal last year against San Diego State and then gave up one late um, to lose the game. But I think that gives you some confidence as a team. Um, every time we face them, we've gotten better and better and better. And so I think it's important that we use some of that confidence coming into it. They're a good team, so is New Mexico, and, and so are we. And we have to be ready to play the game um, on Friday night with that kind of confidence. And then I think. You know, for us, we've been working on some things, and our organization is going to be really important defensively, um, executing the game plan that way, and then sort of, uh, I think, coming back on Sunday. Every Sunday game for everyone in conference is a grind, is a battle. Um, it makes it fun to figure out how are you going to find a way to win, and I think that's the key to Sundays. And um, you know, we'll we'll take care of Friday one game at a time, and then we'll worry about Sunday. Okay, coach. Thank you. Good luck this weekend. Thanks.
Nevada takes on San Diego State Friday night at 7 p.m. and will face New Mexico, New Mexico Sunday at 1 p.m. With live stats and a live stream available, visit the soccer page at nevadawolfpack.com for more information. Thank <laughs> you.